So here's a question. Do you know where all your photos are? Or are they scattered across a dozen disk drives? Flash drives? Memory cards? I'm Rod Lawton and this is a video for amateur photographer on how to get your images organized once and for all using Lightroom. We've all been there, right? We accumulate a drawer full of memory cards, flash drives, external hard drives, and they all may or may not have pictures on them that we may or may not have imported into our photo catalog. So here's my suggestion. A one-time gathering up of all your images, wherever they are, into a single location and a single Lightroom catalog. I want to concentrate on the two big things that every photographer needs. Number one, all your images in a single location, so there's no longer any doubt about where they are and backups become a lot easier. Number two, all your images catalogued, organized, visible and searchable. The point is that Lightroom Classic can do both these jobs at the same time. It's not necessarily quick, depending on how many tens of thousands of images you're collecting, but the process is simple, and at the end of it, you will have everything together in one place. I should say at this point that I'm doing this on a Mac. I don't think the process will be any different on a Windows machine, but the folder navigation and disk management may look a little different. So, let's start. First, I'll launch Lightroom Classic. I already have a catalog, but for this exercise, I'm going to create a new empty catalog. You will need to choose a disk drive where you have enough free space for all the images you're going to copy across. So I've chosen a name and a location for my new catalog. And Lightroom now needs to shut down and restart with the new catalog. Now I can get straight down to importing images. If I insert a memory card, Lightroom Classic will automatically detect it and display its import window. Alternatively, if I plug in a flash drive, an external drive, or want to import images from folders already on my computer, I need to click the import button manually. It's in the bottom left corner. Now I need to navigate to the folder or drive containing my images. If Lightroom says no photo is found, that's probably because you've selected a whole drive. You may see a button underneath to include subfolders. This is very useful because it means you don't have to drill down to every individual folder. You can get Lightroom to do it for you and display all your photos on that drive at the same time. I found photos I want to import, so now I need to go to the four buttons at the top of the screen labeled Copy as DNG, Copy, Move, and Add. These are very important, so let's go through them. First, I never bother with Copy as DNG. This converts every photo to Adobe's DNG format, and I don't see the point because Lightroom can open and edit the original image file formats perfectly well. The copy option is actually the one I want. If I select this, Lightroom will make copies of all these photos in a location I choose, and I'll come to that shortly. This is the heart of this one-time organization process, getting all your pictures together in one place. The move option needs some care because it moves images from where they are currently to a new location and a new filing system which Lightroom will create. Your photos will no longer be where they used to be. The add option is for when you've already got a folder based filing system that you like and you just want to add photos to the catalogue without moving them. That can be useful further down the road, but for now I'll just concentrate on getting all these images in one place. So for this, I need the copy option. This means I now have to tell Lightroom where I wanted to copy these pictures to and how I wanted to organize them. There needs to be some kind of folder system. They can't just all go in one giant folder. Now with the copy option selected, over in the right sidebar still in the import window, there's a bunch of panels. I don't have to worry about the first three right now. The file handling panel simply chooses the type of previews Lightroom creates. 
and I don't want to bother with the file renaming options for now, and I don't need anything in the Apply During Import panel either. The Destination panel is the important one. It does two key things. First, it asks me how I want to organize my photos. In other words, the folders it's going to create. There are a couple of options here, but I recommend the By Date option, as by far the best for anyone who just wants to get in control of a whole lot of images. With this option, Lightroom will create a folder for each year and then subfolders for specific dates within that year. I can name and reorganize folders later, but for now, this is a simpler and logical system that will help me find and identify my images. The second key decision is where I want my photos stored. Now, right at the start, I chose a new folder for storing my new Lightroom Classic catalog. So this folder seems as good a place as any to store the copied images too. That way my catalog and my images are in the same place. Again, I do need to make sure that my drive has enough space for all these images I'm going to be copying across. So is that everything? It is. When I hit the import button at the bottom right, Lightroom Classic will then begin the process of copying across photos into these folders while importing them into the catalog and creating previews. This can take a while, depending on how many photos you find on all your different memory cards and drives. It's worth it though, because at the end of it, you'll have all your photos organized in one place at last. And you might even find a whole bunch you've forgotten about or thought you'd lost. So that's it. I'm just gonna keep going until I've gone through every memory card, every hard drive, every flash drive in my office. Wish me luck. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.